Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're going to make a banana cake. Um, I realized I've done loads of banana breads, but I've never done banana cake on the channel. So I thought I would do one and I would incorporate a technique that's found in the cocktail world, specifically tiki, and we would make a banana syrup from the banana peel to incorporate into the cake to amp up that banana flavor. Actually not the cake, it's gonna go into the icing. So I've got the four bananas that I'm gonna use in the cake and I'm just gonna peel them and set the bananas aside. Now what I'm gonna do is just chop up the peels. Just coarsely chop them, it doesn't have to be very fine. Once I've got them chopped up, I've got this plastic cup over here on a scale and I'm gonna pop the peel into the plastic cup and weigh it. Got 149 grams of peel. And so 149 grams of peel, I'm going to add 149 grams of sugar, equal weight of peel and sugar. And then I'm just gonna shake this together, put the lid on and set it aside. Now, this isn't gonna help us with the cake today. Uh, sadly, this needs to sit for about 24 hours. So earlier this week, when I ate a banana, a couple of bananas, I did exactly the same thing. And then I just strain off the banana peels. And what I'm left with is this brownish liquid that is just banana. It's like banana. So if this was um, for cocktails, and I was doing it with lemons or oranges or limes, it would be called an oleocitrate. Um, no, an oleosaccharum. This one is an oleosaccharum because it's sugar. And what the sugar does is it draws the liquid, the water, and the oils out of the peels, and that oil is where all of the flavor is. In the case of a banana, I'm not certain that there's a lot of oil in the banana peels, but there is quite a bit of flavor. So we're gonna reuse that. We're gonna, we're gonna put that into the frosting. Now, the banana cake. If you watched a video we did last week or the week before, we did a reverse creaming test to see if it really mattered with a cake. And in a way it did. Um, the cake was a little bit more tender, a little bit fluffier. So we're gonna do that today with this banana cake. So I'm starting out with the flour, baking soda, salt, and the white sugar in the stand mixer. And I'm just gonna turn that on just to mix everything together a little bit. Now we're going to cream the butter into the flour. So this is called the reverse creaming method. The idea is that the fat, the butter, coats the, the flour completely and then that inhibits um, longer strands of gluten from forming, giving a more tender cake. And it definitely works, and it doesn't take any extra effort, so it's probably my new de facto way of doing things. So in this jug, I have buttermilk. I'm gonna crack in two eggs. Brown sugar. A little bit of vanilla. And we'll give that a mix. Now you want this flour butter mixture to look like wet sand, like wet beach sand. And I think we're there. Don't worry about it over mixing. You cannot over mix that. Um, if you think you haven't gone far enough, go a little bit farther. It's really not a big deal to, to take it farther to make sure that you've got it to the right point. So I'm just gonna chop these bananas up a little bit. Um, I've also got part of a lemon. So the idea now is I'm going to mix the buttermilk egg brown sugar, vanilla mixture, into the flour mixture. And 
and I'm going to stop it right there. I don't want to, at this point, I don't want to overmix. So I'm going to take the banana into this bowl. I'm going to squeeze in half a lemon juice, half a lemon's worth of lemon juice. I'm going to pull out the lemon seed since I missed getting two out of the half lemon beforehand and I'm just going to mash these down. Okay. Okay, the bananas are all mashed up. So, turn this back on. We'll get the bananas in and we'll just mix this until everything is incorporated, which doesn't take much. That's all it takes. So I've got a nine by 11 cake pan that I have buttered and put parchment in, a sling, so it's easy to pick it out. We'll get the cake batter in. Okay, and I'll just smooth this out. Now, the oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and this will go in to bake for I don't know, 30, 35, maybe 40 minutes. Okay, the frosting, pretty straightforward. I have some butter here. I'm just gonna put this into the stand mixer with the whisk attachment, and I'm gonna whip that butter up. Not a whole lot of butter. Um, and it's gonna take a little bit to get it whipped up. So I'm gonna leave that go. In the meantime, I'm going to get a little bit of juice out of this lemon. And this is a lemon that I've used on the cocktail show. I've taken some of the peel off um, to use as garnish. So, just need a little bit of juice out of that lemon. That's probably, that's probably way too much juice. Okay, now, I'm gonna get this banana in there. At this point, I'm going to put in a little bit of vanilla. Now, I'm going to put in about half of the icing sugar. And the amount of icing sugar in any recipe like this is a suggestion, a starting point. I wouldn't go ahead and throw it all in at the very start because you might not need all of it. And then again, you might need anywhere between a quarter cup and a half cup more of the icing sugar. Really depends on the moisture content of the banana that you put in. Maybe you put in a little bit extra lemon juice. Um, maybe this banana syrup, I end up putting in too much of it. And so that's the banana sitting in the sugar. It's already pulled out a lot of liquid. It's well on its way to where it needs to be. And this is where I'll start putting in the banana syrup. This is where I tell you I forgot the cream cheese. Um, I'm going to say it's not a big deal. Let's just throw it in there. We've got the machine. Let's put it up a little bit higher, let it whip in, and then continue with, with the icing sugar. It'll be fine. And we'll get that icing on the cake. Hey, Glenn. Hey, Jules. Hey, friends. Uh, icing. Banana cake. Banana cake. I'm just looking at your, your icing's a little chunky there, but yeah, yeah icing, yeah, eh? Whatever. Icing, whatever. whatever. So I'm not going to say that I have dedicated my life to trying to figure out the Sara Lee banana cake recipe. but it has, Really? You're not going to admit that? But it has been I something think, I've, I've come back to again and again. I but feel like this, we have, through our lives, yeah. tried many recipes. The secret being putting banana in your... In the frosting. In the frosting. But it's been so long since I've actually had a Sara Lee cake. I don't remember when they stopped selling them in Canada. It's got to be at least 25 or 30 years ago. It's been a long time. Ago. Yeah. And you search for a, a lot. Oh, that's good icing. I'm just going to do this. Mmm. It's moist. Mm -hmm. It's moist. The icing is banana-y. Banana There's a ton of banana flavor in that. 
Well, there should be. Like, there's, like, most of the bananas are gone. Yeah. I so <laughs> I thought you'd, you'd I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll need a couple bananas for a recipe. And nope. it's like, gone. Nope. So um, I'm not sure how much of the texture to put down to the reverse creaming method that I did again with this cake. Mm. But that is a good, fluffy, soft, banana-y banana cake. And there's a lot of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's mm. a, Clearly, I say there's a lot of it, but it seems like he's going to eat most of it. Pick that in a tinfoil tray and don't tell me what it is. I'd be fooled. There you go. So, doesn't have to be hard, doesn't have to be difficult. You don't really need to do the banana saccharum stuff. Ooh, there's banana saccharum. That even adds to it more. But that really adds to the banana flavor in the icing. Just that, you know, sticking some banana peels chopped up in the same way to sugar. Leave it on the counter. 24 hours. No liquid? Just the, just the liquid from the banana peel? Just the liquid from the banana peel. And so after 24 hours, that's what you get. Huh. And so I put a few tablespoons of that in. Was that in lieu of liquid in your, in your cake or in your icing? Well, I also... I have so many questions now. This seems like a bit of an adventure you went on. Um, I... No, I didn't, I didn't use any liquid in the icing. Okay. I just compensated by putting in a little bit more icing sugar until I got the right texture okay. and consistency. I also have to admit, and they know this, I only put in the butter. I forgot to put in the cream cheese until the icing was mostly mixed. Threw the cream cheese in, and it has not affected the cream cheese texture or the, the icing texture at all or the flavor. Nope, it tastes pretty good. Went right in. <laughs> so don't be freaked out if you make little mistakes along the way. You can always come back from them. It Don't is worry about more it. Forgiving it is a lot more forgiving than, yeah. Lend, le, lead you to believe. Yeah, baking is, it's more art. Everyone says it's a science, but there's a lot more art to it, and just go with it. Don't worry about it. Thanks for stopping by. Give this cake a try. See you again soon.